DSUBeavers.com here with head volleyball coach Wayne Chadwick after a tough 3-2 loss to Minnesota State Mankato tonight. Coach, obviously a rough one tonight, but you had quite a few very good performances. Courtney Volkman, who's been your key setter or key player all season long, had a 54 assist, which is her career high, I believe. And you also had Rachel Craig and Jess Yost who hit over 400. Just talk about the individual performances and how your team performed overall. Oh, I, you know, you said it was a tough one, and I, you know, I, I'm not so sure I'm going to say it's a tough one. It was a, it was a great five-game match. We, we battled. We had our opportunities to win. Uh, Mankato's a quality team that, that, quite frankly, in the four years I've been here, uh, you know, we haven't been in a position to win a match against them. So, so tonight was was a very positive uh, evening for us. I mean, I would have liked to get the win, and quite frankly, we should have won game three and we should have won game five. Uh, those games were we had a, a nice lead in those and uh, and were playing very well and, and we let them back into it. Uh, so that part's disappointing. But in all, there's a lot to be positive about. Jess Yost, unbelievable, 20 some odd kills, uh, 23 kills. Uh, only two errors. Rachel Craig, 17 kills, only three errors. Uh, I told those kids very early on in game one that Mankato wasn't going to have an answer for them, and, and I was right. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that we couldn't come away with a win because, boy, you look at the you look at the stats. Uh, if you don't, if you cover up the scores and just look at the stats, uh, you probably think we win. Yep. Um, yeah. And, uh, and I'm sorry, Courtney Volkman. You know, 54 assists, it's over over 10 a game. You know, she's now cracked the top 10 all time. Uh, assists in Bemidji State history, she's just having a phenomenal year. Yep, um, going off to Courtney Volkman, kind of took my next question here. <laughs> um, just talk about the impact that Courtney's had. Um, I know when she came in as a freshman, she kind of split time with the ninth placeholder, Jesse Beth McCon McConnell. Now, how rewarding is it for you as a coach seeing that she may pass McConnell here, maybe even uh, I, before the end of the year? Yeah, I, I fully expect her to pass Jesse Beth. And, and, uh, it, it's just, you know, uh, Courtney's uh, uh, improvements and everything, I, I would love to say that I had some sort of hand in it and everything. You know, quite frankly, I don't think we did any of the coaches. It's, it's just her own uh, maturation process. Uh, you know, I think when she came here as a freshman, it was a big adjustment. I don't know if she would admit to that, but I think it was a big adjustment for her as a freshman. And, and last year, uh, you know, we really struggled as a team, uh, so that didn't help her either. Uh, but now, you know, with the players we've got around her, uh, she's a junior now. Uh, she's just got a lot of experience under her belt, so she's, she's just more used to what we're doing. And, and it shows. She's, I, I couldn't be happier. I mean, she's... Uh, She's having a phenomenal year, like I said. Um, fast forwarding to tomorrow, you get the number one team in the country. Again. For the second time in three home matches. Um, I'm pretty sure they defeated Crookston tonight. I haven't got the final stats yet, but what are you looking for from the number one team in the nation in Concordia? Well, you know, Concordia, uh, their strength has always been uh, you know, they've won six straight national championships now. Uh, their strength has always been just their level of execution. Uh, they're just so consistent and they play at such a high uh, efficiency. Uh, and that's the thing that's scary about them. Even, even when they're not the biggest team physically, uh, and I'm not so sure that they're the biggest team physically that we're going to see this year. I think Duluth might be a little bit bigger than they are, uh, again, physically. But they execute at such a high level that you know the balls, from a defensive standpoint, if they can get a hand on a ball, it's going to the setter, and she's going to have her choice of hitters, and that makes it tough on a defense. So I, I expect them to come in here and really execute at a very high level. Uh, and the test for us is going to be just keeping our heads in the game, uh, understanding that they're going to score points, uh, they're going to dig balls uh, that, that we throw at them. Uh, and regardless of what the score is, whether we're up, whether we're down, whether whether we're down by a lot, whether whether we're up by a lot, we just got to keep a very even head, very even uh, keel, and, and just keep playing our ball and, and control the ball ourselves. Because we showed tonight at times, boy, when we pass, we're, we're going to side out at a very high level. Um, and if we can do that tomorrow and not let Concordia go on some runs, 
you know, and if we can stay within two, three, four points, uh, you know, we can make things a little interesting. But that's the test for us tomorrow is going to be mental. You know, can we keep ourselves in it? Not panic if Concordia goes on a run. Not panic when they make great plays. Just keep playing our ball and keep our heads up. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck.